everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Arm on the Stock Swish and Reviewing W Day. This was the Stock Swish Show Play of the Day today in the room. We're lucky we had it. There wasn't a lot to look at today. Mondays is typically the slowest days for day trades. Plus, we're at the end of earnings season now. So really happy you found this, did it. And again, I suffered through it in the morning because I missed the first exit, but then it went again and now it's even lower. I said initially this could go to 272 today, and it still could, two hours left in the day, but I'm long, long out of this thing, so let's take a look at the gap. Stock close here at 291.92, gap down in the morning, and open at 279. We actually had a really good exit in this now that I'm looking at where this is, even though I still, we did. I think we did have a great exit in this. Um, so anyways, dropped, we got in it. Some people got out here, I did not. Rally back, suffered through this, got the drop and get out. I'm just looking here. We actually had a low of the day exit in this, but it still could be. We've got two more hours left. This could. That's that's funny. I have found in trading again. I've been trading for a long, long time, 16 years. I have found that 80 percent, and this is an average. 80 percent of the moves a stock makes. Okay happened in the first hour of the day. It's true. So I like to trade the morning be done because I want to do something else with my day, you know? And again, options are easy because you don't have to sit and babysit them. You can put a seller in an option. You don't have to babysit it. And again, nice because of the fact that you don't have to babysit it. But when you're in a day trade, you do kind of have to babysit it because you can't miss your exit, which I did this morning initially, but then I had a good price when I got out and now I'm looking at this here, look, if I had stayed in this all day, I could have taken a little bit more, but so far it hasn't broke the low. I still think it could, uh, but we had a really nice move in this today. Again, slim pickings to the downside today, really slim pickings to the downside today, but I'm happy that this worked. If you'd like more information on how to trade gaps and would like to sign up for my Golden Gap course, the next class is coming up. I can't even believe it two weeks less than that march 16th and 17th email me at melissa the stockswoosh.com for more information or if you want to sign up or go to the website and look at information there and again it's going to be a good week for us people we're off to a great start have a wonderful day